So today's video is not a watching the world burn video, although we will get into some news. I just wanted uh, uh, the people, the very few of you that watch my channel, to understand my situation. Okay, I wrote a book that the NSA <laughs> buried called The Internet is Infected. And I gave uh, the American people the ability to... Uh, use the internet safely and responsibly and circumvent all government, uh, well, I shouldn't say all government, most government uh, surveillance uh, that was possible. And believe me, the blowback that I got, it just buried that book. I spent five years working on it. I worked in the cybersecurity industry. That's why I'm that, that cybersecurity guy. And I'm making this video because finally... Uh, I'm going to get back into the cybersecurity stuff and maybe help some organizations that have approached me uh, and say that, you know what, you know, maybe we could use your talent because the FBI is cracking down on uh, MAGA. I mean, you know, anybody that was even around the White House uh, during the protest, uh, they're arresting them, throwing them into prison. Uh, it's, a, it's a really difficult time in our society. And, uh, and I've got all the hardware. I, I've got a computer that <laughs> I, I, but you got to remember, I mean, I had a lot of problems. I, I broke my neck. I, I, I was in the hospital for three months and uh, getting to the hospital. Think about Lord Austin. Now, like I told you, we get into the news just a little bit. Uh, speculation now is becoming, and I think this is a wild speculation, but he may have been injured over New Year's uh, with the Russian Kenzal strike there in Kiev, because I think he was in Kiev during that time, and, uh, and so that's why he may have ended up in intensive care, because of shrapnel wounds. Uh, whether he will return to duty again, I, I don't wish anybody uh, any sort of uh, medical problems, but I don't like Lord Austin, and uh, I I don't consider him a good person, and so I would not be unhappy not to see him return to his former position, but I do wish him good health, and I would hope that he would go and take this time to spend with his grandchildren and his family and get out of the, you, the government uh, because I don't consider him uh, a representative of the American people. I hope that states my position as diplomatically as possible. Okay, so, uh, but I, I, I did want to tell you, so we're going to get into a little bit more cybersecurity on the channel. Uh, I'm going to be redeveloping some of the chapters in my book. Uh, they were, the book was written in 2016. Now, most of the, the stuff that I worked on is still relevant today. And, uh, and, and hopefully I can teach, especially patriotic small businesses, uh, anybody out there that wants to Stay out of the uh, public eye. I mean, uh, you can go to Proton Mail, for example. Uh, that's a great, uh, that was out of Switzerland. Now, Switzerland used to be a very neutral and very private nation. I don't trust Proton Mail anymore. I think that they've cozied up to the, uh, the Western uh, uh, pressure. And uh, it's probably no longer a secure email system. But but it's much more secure than what you have right now. And I will be looking into, there used to be Rise Up. Uh, you had Rise Up, which was for the reporters. Uh, but that kind of got outed. And, and Rise Up, I mean, believe it or not, because I consider myself a reporter, they wouldn't even let me on their platform. <laughs> I mean, I, so I'm kind of prejudiced against Rise Up as, a, as an email service. Uh, and I'm not sure it protected the reporters all that well. And uh, there are other um, uh, encrypted email services and then i did notice uh well signal elon musk recommended signal uh but signal's been compromised don't don't get me wrong the nsa if they really want to target you uh they can listen to you on signal that it's open source that's a good thing but uh there are uh back doors into signal and uh but the good thing is is that unless you really come up on the radar. It's kind of like the FBI's 10 most wanted list. <laughs> I mean, if you're on that, they're going to listen to you on signal. They, they, they will be able to do it. But if you're not on the FBI's 10 wanted, most wanted list, you're going to be able to use signal pretty good. Uh, so I just, and, 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 and 
the other reason I'm making this video was I got a comment today that says, how come my comments are being deleted? How come you never respond to my comments? Well, you have to understand that I, like Alex Jones, am one of the most censored people on the planet. Okay, even though I'm just a little teeny fish, you know, and you say, well, you're making that boast because uh, you, you obviously consider yourself more important. No, I'm not important, and that's why I'm able to continue making my videos because they don't consider me important, but at the same time, they consider me enough of a threat that they want to censor me. So a lot of times, I don't get your comments on YouTube. Okay, I'm just going to tell you that right now, and, and this video will go up on YouTube. Your, your, your comments are deleted, because I'll see a comment one day, and the next day it's gone. I don't delete your comments. I'm not even, I don't even know if I'm capable of deleting comments. I have my account on YouTube open to all comments. If you really want to follow me, and if you really want to make comments that I'll probably get, you need to follow The Burn, The Burn, all one word, no space in between, on Rumble. Okay? So I'm not deleting your comments. Anybody that watches this video, I want you to understand, I am censored to the max. I'm throttled. Even on X, I've seen my following go from 600 to 800 to 200 to 300. I mean, well, I shouldn't say not 200. It goes from 600 to 800, and then it fluctuates back down. Uh, and I can't believe that that many people unsubscribe to me on uh, on on uh, X, uh, so don't tell me Elon Musk isn't isn't part of the, the the structure, but he's better than most, and that's why I post there. And then, of course, now I'm on Telegram, and Telegram is, is another arm of the NSA, you know. So where do you go? You go to, uh, like, the Duran, you go to Rockfin, uh, Locals, and yeah, I'll look into that, but I only have so much time, you know. So now if I'm going to rewrite the cybersecurity book and start giving you cybersecurity tips, like, use Tor. For example, T-O-R, the torproject.org, all right? It's not a place you want to purchase products or put passwords out on, but it skips through three servers, and it makes it very difficult for the NSA or, or uh, the uh, government agencies to follow you. Uh, I, I mean, it's compromised for sure. Uh, if they want to follow you, they're going to be able to follow you, but uh, it's a great place to, to research topics that, that the government probably doesn't want you researching. Uh, and that can be up to you. I'm not saying uh, any illegal topics. I'm just saying things that might be sensitive, like, you know, Gaza genocide. Obviously, that's a very sensitive topic to the U.S. government. And I've done videos on that. Why do you think I'm censored? <laughs> I mean, nobody else is talking about the genocide in Gaza but me. Uh, well, I shouldn't say nobody, but very few people, unless they're on YouTube. You won't see it on mainstream media. Uh, let's get to just a couple of bookmarks. Uh, I thought this was uh, interesting. So we got breaking. This is, uh, well, posted 15 hours ago. Another massive attack on Israel this morning. Over 40 Hezbollah missiles and drones have been reported in northern Israel with the IDF Northern Command reportedly hit. A large number of Hezbollah drones and missiles were reportedly launched towards the north. The base in Safed is responsible for all the units located between Hermon and Natanya and tasked with protecting Israel's northern Syria and Lebanon borders. Panic was reported in the streets of Safed while hundreds of parents were asked to take their children out of schools. So that's uh, breaking news. Uh, let's get to the next one. This is Colonel Douglas McGregor. Uh, God dang, a brilliant individual. I, I, by the way, you got to check out uh, uh, Scott Ritter. Oh, my God, he's over in, in Russia right now. I, 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 he gave a, an address, and by the way, the translation just came out today. Because can you imagine doing this? I couldn't do it. No way, no how. So they kind of set him up, and they called in 25,000 <laughs> Chesnian troops for him to to give a speech to and he just walked right out and he says his russian is really bad but uh, the translation uh it was a very good speech on uh, an impromptu now i don't know if it was impromptu it could have all you know been a setup on either side uh but god dang what he said i thought it was a it was a very important speech and i just can't imagine standing in front of 
25,000 Chechnyans. And by the way, uh, he pointed out in the video today that all the weapons are loaded. Now, do you understand that in the United States, our government does not trust the U.S. military enough to have our weapons loaded? In fact, what happened back in Lebanon uh, when I was in the Marine Corps, uh, the reason that all those Marines died was they weren't given ammunition because the officers didn't trust them with the ammunition. So when you've got 25,000 Chesnians out there with mortars that are loaded and guns that are loaded in front of their leader and Scott Ritter, I imagine the trust of their soldiers. And I'm just giving you a contrast between the U.S. military and the Chesnian military, uh, which is obviously in support of Vladimir Putin. Very interesting. I, I thought that was a, a huge thing. So let's get to Douglas McGregor. It's clear that Israel plans on a wider war. Yo, yo off, yo, Y O A V, Gallup, the leader of the more moderate wing of Netanyahu's gov cabinet, has effectively said so. Sex State Blinken, uh, Secretary of State, okay, acts as though his words to the enraged leaders of the Middle East can reverse America's slide into war in support of Israel. He is out of his depth and is held in contempt by virtually every Arab statesman along with the leaders of Turkey and Iran. Well, yeah. I mean, obviously we're heading into a regional conflict. I don't see any way around it. The Biden administration has given unlimited support to Israel. Uh, every, every couple days, a cargo plane arrives loaded with 2,000-pound bombs to drop on and exterminate the Palestinians. And Israel goes before the uh, World Criminal Court on uh, Thursday. Now, is the United States going to buy off those judges or threaten them in some kind of way so that they get the verdict uh, against uh, genocide in, in Gaza? Probably. But it's South Africa. And imagine South Africa. Who would have thought? But, I mean, you know, got to remember their history. You know, they, they faced uh, genocide in South Africa on both sides, white and black, you know. And so they know what division is all about. And that's why they were the ultimate best country to bring the case against the, 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 the extermination of the Palestinians against, uh, against uh, Israel, or the Zionists. I shouldn't say, I, I hate saying Israel, it's just the Zionists. So uh, that's it for this video. I just kind of want to let you know that I'm very censored. I'm very buried in the algorithms uh, on X, on, on YouTube, not on Rumble. I think it's just because it's hard to find me on Rumble. But if you search on the burn, I think you can find the channel. Uh, of course, I am that cybersecurity guy on Rumble. And then if you want to just have some fun, I got my Outdoors with Kirk channel. Uh, in fact, I... Uh, I'm going to be making another video. It just rained uh, tremendously here today. I have to wait, you know, for everything to be dry before I go out into the forest of, of Florida. But this time of the year is, is when I want to get out and do some adventure videos. I only have so much time. Peace out. Stay free. If you wish to follow me other places, I post on many topics. My main interest is geopolitics. To follow me for geopolitics, I am that cybersecurity guy on YouTube, under the playlist, Watching the World Burn. On Rumble, my channel is simply The Burn. I also post all my videos on X. That handle is That Cybersec Guy. That Cyber SEC Guy. I'm also on Getter and True Social. On Getter, it's the same as X. That Cybersec Guy. And on True Social, it is That Cybersecurity Guy. I also do minimal postings on Telegram at The World Burning. The World Burning on Telegram. I'm limited to two gigabytes there, so I don't post often unless it's a short video. I also do videos on outdoor activity because I'm into of hiking mainly. But it's Outdoors with Kirk on Rumble. That is my main channel for outdoor activity. But I also have a playlist on YouTube called Hiking, Biking, and Camping in the United States. Lastly, I do reviews and tutorials and commentary on various products. On Rumble, it is just simply that cybersecurity guy. That's my catch-all for any video that doesn't fit in geopolitics or outdoors. On YouTube, it is reviews, tutorials, and commentary on products. Hope you can follow me other places. Peace out. Stay free.